Hey everyone, Jeremy Duckworth, the racer guy here, and um, basically like everybody else, quarantine in the shop. So, could be worse places to be than a race shop for me to be quarantined in, but um, right now that's what we're doing. I think everybody's pretty much in the same situation, but um, that's just kind of, I mean, that's kind of a good thing for me about racing my whole life. I mean, that's what we did as a family when times are tough, you could always still kind of go to the shop and you know, work, you can work with your friends and family, people you love and still be around them. So it's kind of what we're doing now, trying to get through this. But um, one thing we did do is we, um, you know, we're going outlaw kart racing, RFC. We're getting some new, some new carts, the RFC, the wing carts and flat carts. And you can see right here behind me, if you can see those. I just bought a cart buyout. So I got two carts, um, a couple engines. That black cart right there, this one right here. Um, I'm gonna take that engine off. It's basically rebuilt. It's a 450. It's it's been rebuilt. And it's it looks it's supposed to be a good engine. So I'm gonna put that on. That's the one I'm gonna race. The other cart over here has got a 500 Polaris on it. Um, so this one here, this one's race ready. We could actually do laps in it right now, which would be fun. Um, I like to just get in there and rip some laps. But it's got a 500 Polaris, so it's going to be a backup. We've got some spare parts, but I don't know anything about these outlaw cars. I've never turned a lap in them or anything, so I'm learning. But I figure that's probably one of the best ways. Jason and I, we we found these these carts, and I um, thought that's probably a good way to get some parts, get some tires, um, just kind of see how everything's hooked up in them. Then we'll get them on the RFC carts, and I'm sure those guys are going to get us dialed in, Bobby and everybody down at RFC. So, um Looking forward to that. We still got the flat carts behind us. We're going to run the flat carts. You can see, I don't know if you can see back here. Um, doing some fiberglass work. So, if you saw the last video, I destroyed <laughs> basically the body. And you can't get parts right now. Um, I mean, you can get them, but it's hard. Unless people got them, there's just nothing really being made. Um, everybody's kind of struggling. So, just have to kind of rework what you got. And get it going but I think we're all hoping that this you know coronavirus thing ends pretty soon and we can get back to the track get back to you know life as normal normal as can be and um, we still got Riley in the hospital so he's still going back and forth doing chemo so I gotta be pretty careful and exposure and stuff like that so but at least we got some carts to work on um you can see, I mean, the time, we, we can use the time. We're not ready to hit the track quite yet, so it's going to work out great. But um, I am looking forward to ripping some laps off in those 450s, those 500 class. Those things are going to be fast. They're going to be fun to drive, so I'm looking forward to that. And actually getting a new class started at Twister and here in Arkansas. So I think, you know, I think that's going to be a good thing for people to kind of move between the flat carts and the big cars. So, you know, there's a big money difference between a flat cart and a, you know, modified or late model. So, I'm hoping that these will bridge the gap a little bit and kind of get people, they can decide where they want to race as they move up. So, that's what we're doing. Hope everybody's doing well. And, well, we'll talk to you later.